Ishirai Village. Contact me. Because there's no refuge finally from myself. Until I confront myself in the eyes and hearts of the others, I am running. Until I suffer them, I have no safety from them. Afraid to be known, I cannot. These are my uh, brothers in recovery, and uh, that's uh, Kuya Ian. It's Kuya Jun. This is our rehab facility. That's Ronnie Magneto. Ronnie Magneto. Uh, chick Magnet. And then the Biro Lang. Archie, if you can see it, Biro Lang. Yun. Uh, uh, hindi totoo yun, hindi totoo. Nag-gibiro <laughs> lang ako. Ayan. O, oh, ayan. Ayan. Tinaanda na naman ni Ronnie yung mga puno namin. Ayan. CI village into your healing place for people for those that are uh, addicted to drugs addicted to gambling addicted to uh, everything this is the gate that you pass through leading towards healing and recovery normally you spend around six to nine months healing here and uh, yeah uh, when you get through that door, that's when the treatment starts. This is the uh, graduates hall. This is where the uh, uh, people who finish the program can stay. Uh, they're all welcome here. And uh, that one is a big facility there. There's a big basketball court. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, we cannot enter today because uh, uh, we need to be tested for COVID. We don't want to uh, uh, infect the uh, residents. Uh, that's how it is. Uh, PCI village. Uh, we have around uh, 50, 60 residents now. Uh, that are uh, attending the healing uh, sessions. Yeah. So, that's, uh, yeah, recovery is a process. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes everything you've got. Uh, so they say that uh, addiction is a, a family disease, you know, uh, because one person may use but uh, the whole family suffers okay that's why uh, when you have a family member that's suffering from uh, addiction they always want to be helped because if left alone they don't want to be left uh, they don't want to be helped See? addiction is a family disease 
So this is a treatment facility. This is not a prison. This is where you recover. This is where you find yourself again. You are given the place, the time, and the environment to recover. Uh, I've been through this uh, uh, um, condition. That's why uh, I can tell you that uh, treatment uh, works. Yeah. See, these are... Uh, okay. Reminder, glass wall. So we enter. This is our. Uh, this is my mentor, Mr. Juntan, no. and uh, he's the facility director of uh, this uh, treatment PCI. facility. Yes, and uh, he's the reason why uh, many of us are successful now with our lives because we listen to him, and he is uh, constantly mentoring us every time. So. If we go through uh, times of stress and uh, we have conditions that uh, requires attention, our Kuya, which we fondly call him, Kuya Jun, is able to give time and his expertise, his commitment, and his concern to us. So that's Kuya Jun. Okay? <laughs> so uh, we're looking at the... Uh, organizational chart of uh, TCI. So there you have uh, uh, Juntan as the facility director. Yes. And this we have uh, uh, assistant facility director, uh, Dwayne Patrick. We have clinical staff. Uh, yeah. Uh, Montclair. Uh, we have recovery specialist, uh, Christian. Uh, Pitch. Okay, we have uh, HR admin. See, admin staff. See, we have a uh, medical doctor. Uh, we have dentist. Uh, we have a uh, social worker. Social worker. Case uh, manager. Yeah. Case manager. Psychometrician. So. Uh, Ati Daisy, yeah. you have that, and then uh, uh, we have volunteers. Okay, so that's it. We have uh, security staff, security staff. Okay. So that's it. Uh, that is uh, yeah. Uh, so. so this is where uh, we hold our counseling. Yeah. So that is uh, uh, yeah. So this is uh, the graduate hall. These are where the graduates come and uh, visit when they visit. We have coffee here. Uh, yeah, we have coffee. Uh, we have uh, we can cook here. You can visit here, coffee is free. Uh, yes, yes. So, yes. So, this is a very uh, balanced, stable place. Uh, is, uh, we have uh, rooms uh, for those that uh, want uh, a special uh, uh, place. Uh, we have the rooms here for uh, TCI. See? Uh, yeah, and uh, we also have here the uh, restroom. Restroom is here. Uh, so okay, restroom of uh, TCI. See, okay, we have TV. Uh, we have a closet. Yeah, yeah, it's empty today because uh, it was just vacated. Yeah. So I say, recovery is hard. The pain you feel today is the strength you feel tomorrow. Huh? That's it. We also have uh, another room here. Huh? I don't know if this is locked. Yeah, it's locked. I don't have the keys today. 
see we have another one also here special room see uh, this uh, yeah see how it is So every now and then we spend time here. Uh, we uh, um, try to uh, talk to each other, share our experiences, our sobriety challenge. That's it. Okay. We have uh, this here. So, uh, unfortunately, we cannot uh, go inside uh, the facility because uh, uh, we need to have uh, to be tested for COVID and uh, we don't want to put in danger the uh, health of our residents. That's why we chose not to enter the, the facility. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me show you. Uh, we also have a CR for guests here. Uh, I repeat, uh, this is the uh, uh, graduates hall. Graduates hall, and uh, that's all we have here. So, yeah. uh, this is where we receive our uh, inquiries and our guest, the codeps also. When uh, the codeps visit, uh, I'll show you. We have, uh, yeah, because of COVID, uh, you see, uh, when they talk, uh, when they talk, uh, there is uh, like that, so that no fear of uh, infection, huh? Okay, let's go again, yeah. I always believe that uh, every day is a fresh start. So that's it. This village every day is a fresh start, and uh, we have a very uh, competent uh, staff here. We never, never give up, even if uh, recovery is hard. We believe that all your hard work will be worth it when you get out of this uh, gate and uh, our uh, mentors would always tell us that uh, real recovery uh, is a complete lifestyle change you must change everything you must change uh, the way you live the way you think sometimes you even change your friends uh, you change your habits, uh, and this is the road to recovery. Okay, the road to recovery is here. So it's just a limited tour because, uh, like I told you, uh, we chose we chose not to enter the facility because uh, we don't want to endanger the health of our residents. But. Uh, just to tell you, we have around 50 uh, residents now. It used to be 80, but because of COVID and because uh, a lot of people is having a hard time financially, uh, they don't want to send uh, those that are afflicted with addiction disease to, uh, to the facility because, you know, it costs money. 
and uh, especially if the facility like this which is a uh, uh, very high standard and very comfortable uh, definitely cost money but uh, the founders have found a way to uh, mitigate the cost uh, we are helping uh, uh, parents in time of need especially in the pandemic because this facility is an advocacy really and it is to help people so when they have a hard time paying we help them by uh, not charging so much you know? uh, because it's really about help but when times are good and they can afford it we, we, we make them pay what the facility is worth yeah? because there's really value to this huh? but it's not about money it's about caring and concern for uh, the residents Seven logics in life. Seven years ago, I was sent to rehab myself. I did not agree. I did not consent. It was difficult, but I went through it. I spent a year and got out. When I got out, I relapsed. And I was sent again after six months to uh, a different center. A different uh, treatment center it took me three years to finally recover and then now I am already when I got out I'm already uh, drug free very sober seven years see I like going to this place because it reminds me of uh, the things that I went through see oh by the way you see here these are the list of uh, residents that already passed through the gates. That's it. Huh? And also, we have this. These are graduates, actually. There are plenty more. There are plenty more. Yeah. And we also have. Uh, we used to have uh, two graduation dates every year, but now uh, we chose not to hold one because of uh, yeah the COVID thing so lay low lang we are lay low now steady lang so that's it uh, this place also serves as a seminar area we set up tables and chairs here and the place is uh, air conditioned very uh, cold and uh, we, we uh, do that uh, so every now and then we have seminars and yeah, we have uh, the able leadership of our Kuya uh, Juntan. We attend uh, seminars, yeah, total care. See? Yeah. See we also have. Uh, uh, Certificate of completion for uh, training. See? See? Oh, okay. So, uh, that is Ronnie. He's uh, stressed now talking to uh, his wife. Uh, 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 he forgot. Uh, how to panghawakan ng sarili niya. Uh, so, uh, this is Hershey. Hi. I will take a video of Hershey. She is hiding. <laughs> okay. So, she is hiding. I am blogging. I'm blogging for uh, content of TCI in video. In English, very good. It's hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so, Ronnie's stress because of COVID pandemic, no earnings. So much yes. uh, commission, not not getting very bigger. <laughs> That's very good English Korean. So, yeah, we enjoying despite the pandemic. We're okay. Okay. So uh, I need to go. Uh, in parting, uh, I will uh, recite the TCI creed. Uh, I'm here because there's no refuge. Finally, for myself. 
until I confront myself in the eyes and hearts of others. I am running. So I will shortcut too. In this ground, I can take root and grow. Not alone anymore as in that, but alive to myself and others. It's by Richard. So, just a test if uh, we can recite it without looking at the... the uh, Ronnie, can you recite TCI? Uh, uh, without looking, huh? But look. I'm I'm here here because because there's no refuge finally from myself. Until Until I confront myself in the eyes and hearts of others, I am running. Until I suffer them, share my secret. I have have no no safety from them. Afraid to be known, I can can know neither myself myself or any other. I will be alone. Where else can I find find such a mirror? Here, together, I can at last to myself. That is the giant of my dreams. My, my fears, fears, but as a person, part of the whole, if by sharing his purpose, in his strong, strong, I can take the good and the good, not alone anymore, but to life and myself, and to others. others. Yeah. See, we got it right. Yeah. That is TCI, guys. We're normal people. We used to be uh, under the influence, but now we're sober. And uh, yeah, we're okay. I hope you're okay. Thanks for watching. Like, like, and subscribe. Uh, this is my Kuya Jun, my mentor, very handsome guy. Uh, very handsome guy. Ronnie Boy, also very handsome guy. Uh, me, also most handsome guy. Uh, so we're very okay. And uh, just mentioning that we have a partner that's not here. He's uh, our big brother. Uh, that's uh, Joel Chavez. Uh, Joel Chavez, hello, partner. Hello, Pre. Good morning. So we have uh, uh, we have uh, articles in Inquirer, but I think uh, because of the reflection, you cannot read it. It says relapse uh, in drug addiction, why it happens, how to deal with it, spiritual program strengthening, progressions. Yeah, we have so many. In the past five years, four years, that we are we're okay here. That we are. We have uh, uh, we have uh, helped a lot of people already. Huh? So yeah. In closing, this is the twelve steps. Twelve steps. All right. Okay. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Again, like and subscribe. Uh, no, we're not. Uh, I don't know, Kujun. You you have. Uh, yes. Uh, guys, we invite you to have lunch with us. Uh, just comment in the section, comment section below, and we'll give you uh, peanuts, many peanuts. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, pawi na kami.